Let's take a look at how easy it is to share information between Autodesk Inventor and Autodesk Plant 3D. What we're looking at here is a separator vessel that was created totally within Inventor. As you can see, the amount of detail that's provided within this model is, it's a production level model. You can see we have all the nuts and the bolts. Everything you need to produce a bill material to make this skid is contained within this model. What the challenge is with sharing this information with a product like Plant 3D is uh, the information that Plant needs is actually very minimal in comparison. Um, you don't want to share all this information in Plant. Uh, for the reasons that, for, for the manufacturer that produces this model, um, you don't want to share all that detail with customers because that's your intellectual property. Uh, they really just need enough to know about inlets and outlets. And the second is, you don't want to give them a model that would be intensive for plant to import. Um, these skids exist in a big massive plant that's going to have literally millions of parts within it and to bog down the graphics processor with something like a nut or a bolt isn't going to help them model expediently. So the challenge is how do you take this information that manufacturers have already heavily invested and produced and expediently produce a nice, succinct, nicely shrink-wrapped part to be brought into Plant 3D. And there's a couple of tools within Inventor that make this uh, really easy to do and I'm going to run you through a couple of those things now. So the first thing that Inventor can allow you to do to help uh, make the simplification of your models very simple is uh, utilizing what's called the level detail manager and what this is, is that you can go in and um, by you can suppress up front the various parts that you just don't need so you can go and just set up these things and then what what the level detail allows you to do is as you suppress them um, you can go and save them in a level detail so you can go and rather than needing to have a separate model that exists somewhere else that's just simplified you can have one central model so you can still make changes and updates to it but have this level detail that's simplified that has all the nuts and the bolts suppressed out and this is the model that you can then take and go and export to Plant 3D with. So what we've done here is we've set up this, this nicely simplified uh, level of detail that has all the nuts and bolts suppressed, stuff that we don't want to go out to plant and then we can take that and go into the next phase that we have for optimizing it for going out to Plant 3D which is to utilize the, uh, the BIM exchange tool which will allow us to, to both simplify it further and add intelligence that Plant 3D can use uh, within, its, within its program. When I talk about adding intelligence I'm talking about things like if you know things for like ducts or conduit cables, in this case we have these pipes that you're going to be connecting to within Plant. One of the really nice things about the BIM exchange is that you're able to up front go ahead and tell Plant which things are inlets, which things are outlets. So here you can see in, out, give things like a nominal diameter so the plant knows which, which pipes to select. Uh, it's very simple to go and, and do within the application. You can just see here, I'm just going and basically just click it on the edges, pull it on there, and then just tell what the nominal diameter would be. And you're on your way, and this will then come into plant. Um, and you'll see where the connecting points are so you don't have to go and define them within a plant. You can allow your customers to have these models that are already prepared, super easy to bring in and super easy to work with. Let's talk about simplifying the model a little bit further. We've already started off by suppressing out the parts that we didn't need. We can go one step further than that though and utilize what's called a shrink wrap, which at its first thing we'll do is it'll take these remaining 182 parts that are within this this, uh, within this assembly and merge them into one part so you only have one thing to import into plant and it also can help you simplify the geometry even further so rather than having to go in manually make things a little bit more uh, a little bit more simple you can go and do things like hole patching so these holes that exist here are actually even the pipes themselves like you don't need to have a hollowed out pipe that's just going to be graphically intensive go ahead and make that one solid a one solid part, maybe this spot, at least you can see these, these extra supports. That's information that's nice to see, but it's really not critical. Um, shrink wrap can help with that. You can go and do things, in this case, you can do things like basic hole patching. You can remove internal components that won't be visible. You can remove things by visibility, or maybe even by geometric size. You can see there's a whole set of options within shrink wrap that you can play around with and help simplify your geometry faster than what you'd be able to do just manually. And then you can go, in this case, like click here and get a preview you can see what's going to be taken away and then we'll go ahead and say yes I'd like you to make these changes and you'll see in a second um, 
just how easy it is to go there and make your geometry you know, really nice and compact and succinct, ready to be exported into plant. So again, the reasons why you do this is, first off, it makes it so it's less intensive on the graphics processor when you bring it into plant. The amount of detail just isn't necessary, and it just weighs it down. And the second is this is a means of protecting intellectual property. Um, you don't necessarily want to change, share with your customers all the different things that it takes to make your, uh, your products run together. They just need the bare minimums, input-output for things like pipes. And it's really easy to do with the shrink wrap capabilities within Inventor. You can see right here, we're done. We produce, now we have in the lower left hand corner here, you can see we have one component now that's been shrink wrapped. And now we're ready to go and export this information to, uh, uh, to Plant 3D. So one of the first things you'll see it does is that it will pull up this menu that you can export the geometry, the inputs and the outputs for your in inlets and the outlets for your pipes. Uh, you can also go and add a set of metadata. So we'll see it's going to take a screenshot right here that goes with the uh, uh, that goes with this this file that we're going to export. It's called the ADSK format. Uh, you can add your own if you don't like that. Uh, you also can add in your own descriptions. As this, so this is stuff that you can go and search on later. So in this case, this may be this is a a separate vessel for seawater. So we'll can say. Um, Add that information. Manufacturers will say the Autodesk made this, you know, called the P9000. Um, and then you can also call them the standard that it applies to. So in this case, this is a so for, for this is a liquid waste separator. You can go and identify that, and that's something that that you can then um, search on and actually use it if you were to bring this into a product like Revit. That information stuff that they can search on and use. And there, with that, we'll go ahead and save it. There's our our simplified, we'll call this our shrink wrap part. And now we have a file that is ready to be brought into Plant 3D.